Hello and welcome to this get response double opt-in tutorial. It's going to be very quick. I created a brand spanking new account, so I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're pretty much getting started or even if you have a much larger list. So first and foremost, you're going to want to click on the contacts tab right here, which is where I am with the list. So once you find the list that you specifically want, you're going to want to hover over this and click on settings. It's going to start at the general section, but what you want to do is click on the subscription tab, which is where I am. And if you see right here, it says require additional confirmation, double opt-in. I'm going to hover over this so you can read it or I can read it to you. When you enable one, several, or all of the options, all new contacts who sign up using the selected method receive a confirmation email. They need to confirm their permission to be on your list by clicking a confirmation link. So if you want double opt-in enabled, you're going to want to do both of these here for web subscriptions and API subscriptions. Aside from that you can kind of change around the confirmation message, especially when it comes to the subject line and what they see. So let's click on the confirmation setting right here or confirmation message tab. And if you scroll down below, there's going to be quite a few subject lines that you can choose from. It's really going to be up to you, uh, whatever is going to be best. But you can also do is add a custom subject line so you can use your own here. So that's going to be up to you. Like, please click here to confirm your subscription for it. Maybe you want to put your brand, something that someone would recognize or maybe your name. That's going to be up to you. But if you wanted to show the predefined ones, you know, something like. I don't think it would be product delivery, just like please confirm your subscription is simple. From address, reply to address, pretty simple. Body template, that's going to be up to you. And then, of course, the confirmation message, which says, hello, first name. You might not even need the first name. We have received your request for a subscription to a mailing list maintained by GetResponse Email Marketing Service. And to confirm it, obviously, click on the confirm subscription button. Then, of course, what you want to do is save confirmation message. And of course, I forgot to point it out. You're going to want to save it on this page as well. Down right here, we can click on Save Subscription Settings. And that's how you can enable or disable double opt-in. I believe just by standard, it's going to be off. So if you want to put it on, this is what the video is about. Of course, if you want to turn it off, you just go back to that. And that's how it's done. So I hope that helps you out when it comes to the double opt-in settings on GetResponse, the reasons you might want to use it, and of course, how it works with the confirmation message. Keep in mind, normally, when you use a double opt-in, Overall, you're generally going to have a little less opt-ins, but the trade-off is they're going to be much high quality because you know they're real people. They have to go in there and confirm them themselves. So that's just something to keep in mind when it comes to that. All in all, thanks again. I hope you got some value out of this. If you'd like to test out GetResponse and you have it, I will put a link in the description. They come with a free account. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.